Today we're playing Odd Man Out, where if I guess the odd person out incorrectly, I will be gifting chap one sub. We did a few of these on stream, and they're a lot of fun to do. If you want to catch me streaming, I'm streaming every day from 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Actually, no, the fake hey magician. Guys. How are we going to know who's the magician? Magician. I am a magician. I am a magician. And I'm a magician. I'm a magician. Hollywood's favorite magician. <laughs> I As a kid? I am a magician. One is a liar. If the group uh, discovers who the liar is, they'll win a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the cash prize. This is Odd Man Out. All right. All right. Don't have much of a game plan at all. You're a real performing magician. There's things that, there's experiences that you just would have to have for yourself. So there's no way you could fake it. I think the person who is not a magician is probably going to say the most obvious answers. Like my favorite magician is Harry Houdini. I'm a Spanish, but I am based in London. I don't know if they're going to think I'm the mom just because of the fact that I'm a girl. I'm just excited to see these other magicians and talk about magic. This is what I do every single day. So it should be a lot of fun. Okay. This is our trick round. Everyone will get three minutes to perform a trick for the group. Let's begin with number one. First off, I'm Nico Magic. What's up? Let's try something here. Um, I got a bunch of a uh, bunch of different random cards. Now these are all Halloween themed. We got things like candy, tricks? ghost, skull, mummy, pumpkin, clown, goblin, gravestone, just to name some. Um, now you can have any one of these. I want it to be a completely fair choice. So whichever one that you want, uh, I'm gonna go through them. You can name one, whichever one. He seems legit already, just by the performance. You want to go with Skull? Let's see, where was that? I'm gonna give you one chance. Do you want to change your mind, or do you want to keep it Skull? He, like, knows how to do, like, video magic. I'm gonna keep it Skull. Oh. You want to keep it? Okay, interesting. I'm gonna leave it right here. Uh, hopefully we can see that the entire time. Now look, I'm gonna try something. Um, you could have had anyone that was completely fair. I'm gonna show you that the backs of these ones, all these cards are completely blank on the back of them. But, uh, but last night I had a vision, okay? I had a vision. In fact, I was so confident that you were gonna yes, go on. keep it skull that I actually took a marker and I wrote a big black X on the back of one card. That's so that good. There. I love it. And that is your selection, skull right there. I love <laughs> That's it. That's my trick. I almost thought, I almost thought Goblin. I that know, you like could have changed easy. your mind, but that would have been, that would have been awkward. <laughs> Number two. How you doing? Okay, so I was thinking to do, because a lot of people are doing cut tricks, but Ooh, I mean, okay. it's pretty cool, right? Just a little bit with the iPhone. <laughs> okay, no, let's, let's do um, a little with a coin. Let me see, let me show you something cool. All right. Okay, so, I like how she's got like magic props. I guess magicians knows the rising card, but this is, I call it the rising coin, because watch, when I, Shake my hand, you'll see how. Oh, that's Changes. that's really good. I watch the next one. Boom. And look, even if I shake a little bit more, slowly that trick it jumps very simple. all the way to the top. Bam. Bravo, bravo, that was dope. That gets some uh, that gets some confetti. Let's go number three. Let's go to Ollie. Hi. So I'm gonna show you this magic trick. Can you see that all the cards are different? Oh, look at that spread. He's legit. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to actually try to find the four aces. The first one, if I give it a cut, and I give it two more cuts, I think the first one happens to be 36 from the top, so I can try to get it right there. Oh, he's got card skills, dude. Um, the oh, second the one, this kid's I think, insane. probably is only five from the top, so what I'll try and do is I'll try and do something a little different. I just try and shake the deck. Oh well. One card will happen to pop out. This is the next ace. If I give the deck. You can't vote a kid out. This is so good. Another cut. I should be able to find. What the hell? Next ace. And can you see that the deck of shuffles here, right? I'll give yeah. it one shuffle. And I'll take the deck and one in 52 chance. I'll use my thumb just to pull out one card and that happens to be the last ace. Oh, Love it. <laughs> that, that kid's 100% a magician. You, no matter what you say. I'm glad I don't have to follow up that kid. The future of magic is in good hands. I'm gonna switch it up for the oh, rest Oh damn, of the that kid Let's is do good. Six. Um, okay, so we've got a deck of cards, um, and I just want you to to free select. So say stop whenever, right? Stop. So um, I'm looking away, right? We're gonna pick two cards. Here's this. You think it's Jeff? And this card as well. Okay. You see those? Yeah. Okay. 
So, um, you've got those two cards in your, he your head. I'm gonna try to remember, uh, figure out what they are, so... Um... A bold move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Was one of them the Ace of Spades? It was. Okay, watch. So we're gonna find the other card. I know you're probably not that, that uh, amazed because this is Zoom and everything, and nothing's amazing over Zoom, but... Uh, we're gonna try to do this, so if you can see, I'm drawing it to be like a 3D kind of thing, right? And so it looks like a 3D card box, right? And you'll oh, see it's kind of cool deck, because man. if I take this card box, right, and I just kind of shake it like this, it looks as oh, though the dude, card is actually what? rising out of the card what box. What the hell? And uh, that is the Four of Diamonds? Yes! Okay, cool. What the hell? Yeah. Alright. That was awesome. Guy, 100%. Yeah. Joseph Slate. had a great trick. I don't want to follow that either. Let's go number five. Ah, uh, am I allowed Joseph to say my name? Ollie I get say. paranoid. That was yes. freaking incredible. Yeah, you okay, hi. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Zach Mears. I would like to show you something, Bonnie. Uh, in theater class, have you seen the illusion where someone takes a sword and they put it through a person's body? And on this way, it looks like, you know, but this way, it isn't. Seems legit. Just from the way he's talking. Uh, I want to try something, all right? I've got this um, uh, knife right over here. I know, danger. And I've got a <laughs> uh, kill himself in his own got a deck of cards. So check it out. The knife goes all the way through the deck of cards, just like so. But what's interesting is... Is he stabbing a really nice deck? If I let go, it's kind of still there. But if I show you, it actually is all the way through the deck of cards pretty interesting but there are no cards inside at all oh yeah it's got his name on it see if i take this out can i show you what's inside okay it is a solid block i know that this uh, is killer half inch piece <laughs> what the heck kind of gutsy for him to do a trick like this <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> he's a magician. That guy's... He... Trust yeah. me. Number seven. Are that guy feels ready? like he has, like, Mervon. I'm gonna show you stage really presence. Cool. So it feels like he does it. Mind read before. I don't think so. Alright, great. This is kind of like that, but a little bit different. I used to do Rubik's Cubes growing up as a kid. And once I became a magician, it actually became a lot easier to solve uh, the Rubik's Cube. But I'm gonna try something with you right through Zoom. Are you ready? That was good. Uh, I have another cube here. They say there are six sides to the cube. What is this voodoo magic ask indeed? You to name a side front, back, left, right, top, bottom. And as you name a side, I will turn that side. Front, back, left, right, top, bottom. It is up to you. Go, go for it. Uh, right. You will go right. One of them. Uh, bottom? Bottom. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. A couple more. Top. Uh, top. Here we go. Top. Keep them coming. Left. Left. Uh, front. Front. Three more. Three more. Back. That would be back. Okay. Two more. Two more. Uh, left. That would be left. And one more. One more. Bottom. And bottom. Uh, now, you have no idea what you just did here, but in a way, you actually solved this Rubik's Cube. Let me show you. You'll notice there's a bag right here. Inside this bag. What, what is happening? There is actually another cube, but I want you to look closely. I want you to see this. Can you see that? That's actually a perfect match right there. Not just on one side, but check it out. That is two sides, a perfect match. Not just two sides. That would be three sides, a perfect match. That would be four sides, every single side, five sides. Look, six sides of the cube. A perfect, a perfect That is, that is match. fantastic. These Rest extra effects are adding a little bit over the top. Number seven is also a magician. All right, and last but not least, Number four. Uh, but this Morning. dude has the most. Uh, my name is Jeff Black. Jeff Black sounds okay, Jeff. like a magician name. And today I brought a deck of cards, but this one's a little bit strange. It's actually a blank deck of cards. Have you ever seen a blank okay, deck Jeff. of cards, Bonnie? Okay, first time for everything. We're gonna try to do magic with this. But first, I want you to think of any card. Don't even say it. Just think of it in your mind. Do you have one? All right. Uh, I'm yeah. thinking of one. Okay. So I'm gonna reach through this uh the five of spades right into your minds. And I'm gonna pull out the one card. Oh. 
that you're thinking of, and I think this is a great choice. I think, uh, in fact, I'm gonna commit. This is the card right <laughs> here. I would like this to stay in frame. <laughs> okay, um, so for the first time, I'm committed. Would you go ahead and just say it out loud? What was your card? It was a two part. <gasps> Yo, no way, Bonnie. That's exactly the card I hoped you would say. Now, <laughs> I don't want to brag, but this really is the two of hearts. And that's the challenge of a blank deck, obviously. <laughs> if it was printed, that would have been it. But thank you for humoring me. In fact, let's use your magic to overcome that challenge. So if you had a magic word, what would it be? If it could be anything, what would it be? Sparkle. Sparkle. Okay, we're going to do this um, with one hand, okay? Can you still see the blank card if I hold mm -hmm. it like that? One, two, three. Sparkle. And it prints I feel like we missed it. one random card. Now, of course, I know that isn't your card, but you did more than that, Bonnie. You printed two cards. Oh, you didn't stop there, though. You printed every single card in the deck. Ooh. That guy is good with cards. Fact, I know. It's it's already very impressive, right? But the best part isn't that. Not that you printed every card in my hand, but honestly, the best part is you printed the one I wasn't even touching. The one that you merely thought of. The two. I think Jeff's safe. Of. Dude, yes. It's so good. That is... I love that does that. deserve. <laughs> I think I might get kicked out. Nah, we're voting right now. Did really good, and especially doing it virtual. Let me say that was fantastic. I mean, I'm just very psyched that I did my trick right because it was Ollie pretty difficult. Safe. The youngest magician, some of the best handling and presentation I've seen from someone whose age. Saw some pieces of card flicks and slide of hands. Safe. Things that take a lot of practice. The one who did the arm trick seemed a bit more nervous than a lot of the other people, which is Nico? sign number one to me, which you might not be a magician. I forget his name. I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names, but the arm guy. Number one was a great performer. I didn't sense any nerves, but I'm I think it's Nico. my opinion was the easiest to perform. Even if he's tricky, he was very correct. Sonia was also I another one. I think I'm gonna go to number six. I am going to vote for the short guy. The guy with the sword. The knife. I, didn't know, I can't yeah. remember, sir. I am like, I have bad memory. I'm pretty suspicious of him because he could just pull it off after about a minute of handling what he had. I am voting for number okay. six. Okay. It seemed like they had a lot of. Ollie with the reasoning. Or, okay, I'm gonna go Zach. I'm gonna stick new. with Ollie. I'm gonna vote for knife guy. It's the only trick that's like doesn't use cards and isn't immediately obvious what his skill level is. I don't know. They're. I think they're all magicians. But I have to vote for someone. The guy that yeah. did the Of course you think they're all magicians. The votes are in. Really? The guy with the, the arm? The person eliminated this round is... He was the most impressive trick of the lot. Six. What the hell? Thank you, number six. That sucked. <laughs> Doing it over Zoom was pretty tough. If it was in person, I think I would have stood a pretty good chance. I should have just had like a deck of cards like stacked up behind me. Like who does that? You know what I mean? Like, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. You know, I should have put this up there. I should, well, look at this, wow. <laughs> What's up guys, this is so fun. Hey, nice performance. What's going on, hey, hey. That was sick. Ollie, I think Zach, you're amazing. Zach's my guest. You're so good, Thank buddy. You. That you was so good, good man. I've <laughs> never seen that. Guys, where are you uh, based? I'm from Dallas, Texas, so I say y'all a lot. So go Cowboys. Philadelphia, PA, home and raised on the playgrounds where I spend most of my days. Ah. Oh. Uh, LA. Oh, right near um the, what's that place in LA where they do magic? Magic Castle. Went to the Magic Castle once. Yeah, you went to the Magic, it. who did you see, who was your favorite magician there? David Regal like was on, he was like one of my Did he do this trick right here, or no? Yeah, he invented like. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're out. still, we're still on YouTube, Bozer. bro. Don't give too much. Yeah, this is YouTube. Uh, no, 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 uh, no methods or technical. I get nervous about that. How many years have you guys done magic for? I've been since I was fifteen. I think Nico's yeah, my other guess. Eight, nine. I mean, whenever I saw that Blaine special when I was a kid, so that was oh, the man. one for me too. David yeah. Blaine. That was, that's the one. For like an hour, oh, not an hour, a Hard. year and a half. Probably. A year and a half. You're insane for a year and a half, number three. Respect. Hey, Ollie. Hey, buddy. You remember me, okay? When you grow okay. older, and then if you need someone to work for you, you let me know, buddy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I know you got an amazing start. Talking about conventions. You guys have been to Magic Magic Live? Not yet. I have not. No. First time last year. It was amazing. Nah, Nick, Here Nick from Europe is Blackpool. Hey. Yeah. It's expensive to go all the way to Magic Live. I want to go to Blackpool. Yeah, I want to go to Blackpool as well. That's one. That's one on my list. I've been to Magic Fest. Number one. Who's your favorite magician? Or what's your favorite magic book? Uh, my favorite magician is, I gotta give it to David Blaine. I know it's kind of like 
Like everybody is the yeah, Nico. Of people's favorite magician. But Nico, yeah, David Blaine's my Impostor. favorite magician. Favorite magic book. Lock it in. You can take 13, that one. You can cast 13, that check. I'm, I'm forgetting the name. Thirteen steps. Steps to yeah, mentalism. It's probably yeah. my favorite. Classic. Why David Blaine? I like David Blaine because I feel like he really, you know, brought attention to uh, <laughs> to, to the to the whole street magic thing, and, I, and he he was the really one who went out and recorded it and, and had that special, his first special, and I think that was probably what inspired me to you know kind of go do something similar. Okay, we have five seconds, which is oh, <laughs> thanks, Ollie. Sorry, man. Jeff kind of singled me out and was like, "Hey, what's your favorite magic book?" And I was like. I love talking about magic. I love me. I've never Nico met these with Ollie. That's awesome. my choices. I really like Ollie a lot. I think we got rid of them all. <laughs> Do I have to get rid of someone? Yes or yes? I'll say number one. Yeah, my vote is going to be number two. Uh, I'm sorry, number two. I. Uh, no, wait. That's not right. Could you imagine? Number one, his favorite magician is David, David Blaine. Blaine. That is a totally legitimate um, choice to have for a favorite magician. It's just rather public. I told you at the beginning, no one's favorite magician is like the magician who just like is the most popular magician. Everyone has their own unique one. I think there's something up with him. I'm gonna do Jeff Black just cause I have to vote, but I okay, still Jeff. think he's a magician, but I like his mustache too. But number one, smelling kind of mold, mold patrol. I definitely feel like I'm about to get voted out for some reason. The person eliminated this round is number one. All right. Sorry, so Nico, one. I'm pretty sure they got this what? right. Guys, but I, I'm very hurt. suspicious of Zach. I think Zach just might <laughs> no, be it's good. All good. I should have came in with a more powerful trick to kind of show off, you know, my my card skills. And number two, saying my David Blaine is, is my favorite magician because even though that is true, David Blaine's the most well-known magician. I could see why they would think that I am not a magician because that's my answer, as weird as that is. Thumbs up if you wish to continue the game or thumbs down if you think you caught them all and you want to end the game. Three, two, one, go. All right. So majority rules. If the light behind me. Okay. Okay. What did Zach vote? Zach voted down, right? He wanted to end the game. I think it's Zach. Zach is my guess for one gifted sub. He turns green. You guys have voted the mole out and you have won. If the light behind right. me turns red, the mole is still in the game and you have lost. It's going red. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> All right, it has to be Nico then. I just doubted Can I myself. Please have my mole, my fake magician, raise his hand. Yeah, it's Nico. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, really? that was rough, guys. I was watching. I was watching the performances go, and I'm like, oh my god, there's no way. Why did I really? Oh, oh god. man. Oh god. His trick was just, I guess, when they first voted him out, they said it was a bit sloppy, and it really kind of was. Oh man, that's that was a tough one. That was a tough one indeed, Damo. Let's just do it this way. Show three, pod one. Yeah, fair. Thanks for the sub, Damo. Show three, pod one. Ah. Oh. That was rough. That that last one. I really thought I had it. I thought we both had it. I thought we were, I thought Joseph's trick that impressed us both so well. Impressed us all.